Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Jadida and today we'll be looking at ChatGPT. We know ChatGPT can take very many personalities depending on what you want the results to be. So today we'll be looking at ChatGPT as a personal assistant and also as a personal trainer. So let's get to it. We see what it, uh, with the prompts we have, we see what it can give us. Today we'll be looking at ChatGPT as a personal assistant. As we know, uh, ChatGPT can, can take uh, very many personalities. So today I want us to go to, we look for it, uh, ChatGPT, then use it as a, I want us to use it as a personal assistant. And I want us to have um, itinerary maybe to travel somewhere. So this is how you open it, open I, then uh, use, you can log in here. Uh, with your credentials. Normally I, I log in with my, I'd already, it seems I'd already logged in before. So it's already here. You can see it says here ChatGPT. And then I click on ChatGPT. You can see it's um, accessing. And you can see there's a free preview. And uh, you can see here you see next. How we collect data. This is what it tells you. Um, so you can share what you need to share. So it says we'd love some your feedback. So I say it's done. So now that's what I have. Uh, this is the landing page for ChatGPT, and then you can start uh, you can start typing the questions you have. So that's how you log into your ChatGPT. So let's now I want to prompt it to us the to give me an itinerary. To so this is what I've been able to tell to prompt the chat GPT. As my personal assistant prepare a travel itinerary from Nairobi to Kuala Lumpur, Ma Malaysia with Emirates Airlines. I'll be leaving Nairobi on the 10th August 2023. The travel plan to include a stay in a five-star hotel in Kuala Lumpur and a visit to five tourist sites. The travel should be in Emirates first class. Also recommend where to buy. They should be buy. should buy clothes for my 10-year-old daughter, 20-year-old son, and official suits for my husband who is 5'9 tall. I'll also need to buy ch chocolates and a good watch for a 50-year-old lady. Let's see what it comes up with. You can see it's generating. Let's see. Quite fast. You can see it's quite fast. Let's see whether it will pass uh, as a personal assistant. Wow. Very, very fast. So let's go back. Let's remove this prompt. So this is the question, the prompt. You can see it says from Nairobi, destination from Nairobi to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Emirates Air, Air, Airlines, first class. And I'll be leaving day one is 10th of August 2023. I depart from Jomo Kenyatta, which is true. Then I fly Emirates Airlines, first class, enjoying the luxurious amenities and services. Then on day two, I arrive at Kuala Lumpur International Airport, transfer to your selected five-star hotel. It's not letting me know when I, if I need, uh, I need to connect. It just says I just go to Kuala Lumpur. So here I need to prompt it more. Accommodation in a five-star hotel. There are several excellent five-star hotels in Kuala Lumpur. Here are a few recommendations. So these are the five is recommending. I can stay in Madarin Oriental. The Riz Carlton, the Shang uh, Shangri La Hotel, Grand Hyatt, and Marriott. So those are the five choices. You can choose um, the one that suits your preferences and budget. So explore the, uh, the from uh, day three to day seven. That is twelfth to sixteenth August. I need to explore. Those are the water dust for tourist um, sites. So I can go to Petronas. Uh, Petronas. These are the twin towers, which is iconic. I can go to Batu Caves, I can go to Maldeka Square, I can go to this bad park, I can go to also to Chinatown. And then it says, during your stay in Kuala Lumpur, you can also enjoy the city's diverse culinary scene, go shopping in modern malls like Pavilion, KL, and Surya, and all that. You can also enjoy the local culture. So shopping recommendations for clothes shopping, you can consider the following options. This, uh, so I can go to this uh, mall located at the base of Petronas Twin Towers. It houses a variety of local and international fashion. Brad's Pavilion Kuala Lumpur. Then I can also go to Mid Valley Mega Mall. Uh, so official shoes for your husband. You can try reputable men's shopping stores in Kuala Lumpur such as Zara. 
and Hugo Boss, you can see it has all those recommendations. Then gift recommendations for chocolates, you can visit Barrows Chocolate Kingdom, a popular Malaysian chocolate brand with a wide range of delicious chocolates. And I hope I'm pronouncing all these words properly. If not, you have to I forgive me, I apologize in advance. So a good watch, you can consider the Pavilion Kuala Lumpur, the shopping mall mentioned earlier, it has several luxury watches. And uh, you also remember to check the local customs and duty regulations for importing goods before purchase. So now, if I'm not happy with that, I can regenerate. If I'm not happy with the uh, what it has told me, I can see whether there are um, other options. And you can see it's still, um, I see whether there's anything which you change. Uh, the Petronas, the Battery Caves, uh, Kuala Lumpur, uh, the same uh, sites. Recommendations are the same. I think not much has changed. So... Official suits, nothing much has changed. Chocolates, the same place. So I think what I can do is now I give them, they give me the, I ask for the the cost, the total cost for travel. I'm still chatting with my personal assistant. As you can see, I was not, uh, I didn't get all the information. And uh, we all know that if you have a personal assistant, you keep on uh, chatting to and fro. You get this information, you want further clarification and all that. So now I've asked my personal assistant to uh, give me some more details. And here you can see I'm asking, I'm, I'm prompting ChatGPT to tell me, is there Emirates travel, a direct flight from Nairobi to Kuala Lumpur? Is there a connection, fl connecting flight? Also, give me the co total cost of the first class return flight and accommodation. In uh, so, I've decided here it had told me I'd, I can choose the, these five hotels. So, I've decided to take the first hotel. So, now let's see whether it gave me the total cost of staying in this Madarin hotel, Oriental Hotel and also the cost of the flight. Let's see what it tells me. So, I've decided to go with the first uh, option of, uh, of the response it had given me. Let's see whether it has given me anything. It is apologizing about the confusion about the uh, Emirates Air does not operate direct flights to Nairobi. However, they do offer connective flights with a layover in Dubai, which is very, very true. For the total cost, the first class returned uh, flight and total competition, Madarin Eto, Oriental Kuala Lumpur. I'm sorry, but I don't have real time access to flight and hotel pricing. This can be very, uh, very depending on factors such as travel dates availability and promotions. I recommend checking with Emirates Airlines directly or using popular airline travel websites to get accurate and up-to-date pricing information for your specific travel dates. Additionally, it is worth mentioning that as, as an AI language model, I don't have access to personal data about individuals unless it has been shared with me in the house for in the course of our conversation. I'm designing uh, to respect your privacy and co co uh, confidentiality. My primary fact Function is to provide information and answer questions to the best of my knowledge and abilities. I, if you have any concerns about privacy and data or uh, data security, please let me know and I will do my uh, best and address them. So it can go as far as giving me a general itinerary, but it can go into details about pricing and all that. So that is uh, what GPT can do as a travel uh, travel uh, sort of agent or. When it's uh, doing personal, do, being a personal assistant for you uh, for, to come up with a travel itinerary. So, and you can see here the, what the dictionary says about travel itinerary. Uh, travel, uh, I'm just going through this, and you can see it says people seeking an exit visa. No, no, no. Let's see here. Traveling, traveled, and all that. Go from one place to another, typically over a distance for some length. So, the, basically, that's what I was asking them the charge bt to do for me maybe i can come up with another prompt as a personal assistant and see whether it will what it will do for me i've decided not to ask about a personal assistant just generally but to ask uh, the to prompt the charge gpt as a personal trainer so i want them uh charge bt to take the personality of a personal trainer and you can see here i'm asking for a meal plan and uh i've been very very specific because i uh, i need help because I want to lose 20 kgs. That's what it's saying. I, um, I've written here. And then I'm asking that it should be in the next 365 days. So one year. Then I've, I've seen here it's a 50-year-old woman who is 5'6 and weighing right now 95 kgs. And also living in, in the location. Because this is very important because you don't want some ingredients or some foods which are not also available 
so you need to ask uh, where you are to say where you are living so that you be more more specific as you can see here i've, I've really put in some some figures some some facts let's see let's prompt it we we'll see what it will do let's see so now we are we are done with the personal assistant um and the apology so let's let's read through the the response as a, as a personal trainer i can provide you with a general meal plan to pay, help you achieve your weight loss goal of losing 20 kgs over the next 365 days however please keep in mind that it's important to consult with a healthcare professional or registered dietitian uh, for personalized uh, advice and ensure that a plan is suitable for your specific needs any underlying health this is very important in any underlying health conditions so this is very important that's why i'm saying you need to uh, go to a health professional in case you may be having some any other uh, any underlying health conditions so here is a sample plan however so in uh, for breakfast you can see here the is telling me to option 1 vegetable omelet made with egg whites spinach bell peppers mushrooms all these are found in in, in Nairobi Option 2 you can take a uh, greek yogurt topped with berries and sprinkled nut, nuts or seeds and option 3 there's whole grains oatmeal with sliced fruits and a tablespoon of butternut so you can see i have three options to work with so i can either whichever ingredients are available so you can see here there and then it's talking about mid morning snack uh, option 1 is hard for mixed nuts you can have almonds or walnuts or cashews then uh, option 2 is carrot sticks with hummus and uh, option 3 a small apple with a tablespoon of natural peanut butter and then you can see the lunch yeah, the same thing three options i can have grilled breast roasted um, whatever with these vegetables cauliflower broccoli and zucchini then you can also have option 2 mixed green salad with grilled salmon cherry this is a bit rare for us to get but you can have uh, any other option and then uh, option 3 you can have a lentil soup with a side mix vegetable salad then option uh, you can have uh, there are very many meals and then you have also have afternoon snack you can see there are also three options so you can have these layer sticks with almond butter hard boiled eggs uh, cherry tomatoes they are all available low fat cottage uh, cheese with cucumber slices and then you have op- also three options for dinner you can have this fish grilled or lean turkey or chicken stir fried with a variety of colorful vegetables and brown rice or you can have tofu so you have many options then you can uh, you go uh, yeah, they also have uh, evening snack which is this is optional let's see whether there's anything else which is optional so the evening snack is the one which is optional evening snack so after dinner really you don't need to eat anything that's why maybe they are saying it is optional so you can see here now uh, evening snack you have a um, small handful of grapes or berries also it means just a just a handful of that or you can have non fat grit or yogurt i remember to drink plenty of water throughout the day and listen to your body's hunger and fullness cues it is essential to maintain a calorie deficit while ensuring you are getting a balance of macronutrients these are the the big three that's protein carbohydrates fats these are the macronutrients and micronutrients these are the vitamins vitamins and minerals from whole from whole uh, unprocessed foods so there's a um, the catch here whole and unprocessed foods in addition to a healthy eating plan regular exercise and lifestyle changes will be crucial for your weight loss journey consider in, uh, incorporating a, a combination of cardiovascular um, exercises strength training and flexibility study exercises into your routine and is wishing me all success on my weight loss journey so you can see that um i think the next time i'll prompt it to give me some exercise uh, routine or regime let's see i think i have asked a very general question prompt for plan for me cardiovascular exercises strength training and flexibility regime for four days a week i'm not sure i'm very specific about that it sounds vague to me that oh it's not vague to the, to the chat gpt wow wow i thought it wouldn't get what i meant I can see oh my this one is doable okay 
this one okay so you can see my prompt here plan for me a plan for me cardiovascular exercises strength training so I, I was not very clear so i had asked plan for me some cardiovascular exercises strength training and flexibility regime for four days in a week certainly that's what it says here's a simple Here's a, a sample weekly plan that includes cardiovascular exercises, exercises, strength training, and flexibility exercises for four days a week. So day one, I'll do cardiovascular exercise. So the first thing is I need to warm up for five to ten minutes of light cardio. You can do walking, jogging in one place. Then also you can, the main workout here will be after five to ten minutes, you choose one of the following activities. So you can do 30 minutes of brisk walking or jogging outdoors, 30 minutes cycling or on a stationary bike or outdoors, and then 30 minutes of swimming laps or 30 minutes of aerobic dance so, or Zumba. So you can see here it's very, it's very nice because you can choose among all these as so long as you do 30 minutes. Then you cool down for 10, about 10 minutes. And then of stretching, exercise, targeting major muscle groups. I think I'll use this. It looks very, very good. So day two, strength training. You also do, so the first day I did, um, it's recommends I do cardiovascular. And day two, I'm supposed to do the strength training. So there's no cardio here. And the, se the same thing here, I warm up for five to ten minutes. The same was happening there with the light cardio here or dynamic stretching. And then here's the main work. I perform two to three sets of eight, twelve repetitions for each exercise. So you can do squats or larges or for lower body strength. You do push-ups or chest presses for upper body strength. You do latches, um, lat pull-downs or rows for back strength. You can do shoulder presses, planks, and bicep curls. So that is day two. Quite uh, quite a lot. And you can see you really don't need a, a personal trainer. You already have one at G uh, Chat GPT. So then you cool down and five to ten minutes. The same thing happening here. You cool down and warm up the same duration. So day three is flexibility and mobility. Here you warm up the same way, five to 10 minutes. Main workout, uh, here you do a, perform a series of static stretches, focusing on major muscle groups. You can do standing hamstring stretch, quad, uh, quadriceps. Uh, you can do chest stretch, shoulder stretch, tricep stretch, hip flexor stretch. And um, I think that's all. No, 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 there are more. Calf stretch, lower back stretch, neck and shoulder stretches, yoga or pilates um, flex, for, flex, uh, for flexibility and uh, balance. I don't know whether I mentioned uh, I pronounced this one correctly. I'm not um, very good at that pronunciation. Then you also cool down 5 to 10 minutes. So day 4, you can see here day 4, you do more cardio and active rest. That's what it says here. So you do more cardio. Exercises and active rest because um, day one, day one we just did cardio alone. But you can see we did only cardio. But now day four we are doing um, cardio and exercise and uh, exercise and active rest. So you warm up the same five to ten minutes, and then the main workout to be choose a low impact activity for thirty to forty five minutes. Here, yeah, low impact means you are not using a lot. If it is ra ra if it is jogging, you, you are not running. You are jogging, light jogging or some or walking. Low impact. So you, you for low impact, you can do swimming or water aerobics. Then you can do cycling. Um, uh, you can do elliptical machine. You can do power walking or hiking. So you cool down the same, the same duration, five to ten minutes. So here it gives you, uh, it says, remember to listen to your body and adjust the intensity and duration in the exercises based on your fitness level and any limitations or health conditions you may have. It's also beneficial to include rest days on your weekly plan uh, to allow your body to recover and prevent over exertion. exertion. So consulting with a certified fitness professional can provide you with a personalized plan and ensure so sort of a, a rider just in case um, you may need uh, some professional help. But you can see how far, how much information it's giving me in a matter of seconds. And uh, basically, if you are to go to a personal trainer, maybe they'll just tweak here and there. 
but this is very very good so you can see what gpt can do for you first as a personal assistant uh, it came up with the itinerary and uh, you can see here it gave you a clue because uh, as far as they now if you were to go with emirates you just need to call them but now you have a, a, an idea even the, where the um, the hotels are the, we, 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 the, if you need a five star hotel you see where it, you can stay in this far in Kuala Lumpur and uh, you can see here it's um, giving you choices and it also gives you choices of uh, tourist places you can visit so um, and you also where you can even buy buy your clothes and here I was specific about the ages of the of the, of the people I'm buying for and also the, uh, maybe uh, like for uh, for the man I talked about suits and you could see it was telling me where to go and buy those suits and all that so it 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 goes along with even chocolates i mentioned chocolates you can see where it's um it's telling me to go and uh it, it is it is a um, very involving it's a good very good uh personal assistant because now what is remaining is just for you to confirm the flight by calling the airlines and also booking the hotels and all that and also getting this the where you need maybe if there are those uh tourist sites you need to know maybe to call and ask for prices and all that otherwise it has given you a, a, a very nice outline and uh, it, you have an idea where you are going and uh, uh, then when it came to my personal trainer or a personal trainer actually you could see it came up in a, um yeah here where i was talking about as a personal trainer and i was specific because with this church gpt you need to be very very specific because some of these um, things, it will give you whatever you ask, if you are specific and to the point. And also depending on you, what you, are, you want your outcome to be. And you can see it, it was very elaborate. It, uh, all these things, most of them are found in uh, in Nairobi. Because um, I was worried it might give me some things which are not uh, locally available. And they are not actually expensive. All these things, some some people can, most of us can afford them. So these, and, uh, and uh, obviously you can see, in every meal, if it's dinner, there are three options. Lunch, there are three options. Snacks, there are three options. So whatever you have in your house, most likely it will add in any of these um, options. So you can see as a personal assistant, uh, ChatGPT is very, very good. So even uh, you can see as a personal trainer, is doing very well, a very good job of showing you the exercises you need to do. Although now it has a rider that's best you. You go to a professional. You you look for a prof a certified actually a certified um, professional fitness uh, prof fitness professional who will provide you with a personalized plan. But so far so good. There's nothing here which is harmful. So to me, it has done the job of a personal assistant, uh, uh, giving me an itinerary and giving me exercise me uh, fitness regime and also meal plans. So I think that's all that we have uh, for today. Until next time. Bye.